Good morning, wrestling fans. It is Monday, January 9th, 2023. I'm Lance Brack. It is the one week anniversary of this podcast, and I kind of actually surprised myself that I made it one week. I thought, well, part of me kind of thought that I might have started it, did a few episodes, and then kind of gave up on it already. But one week, so hopefully we'll keep going into the future. And this episode, gonna once again discuss the Vince McMahon news. And I don't think I mentioned this the other day when I talked about it. Is Vince is also bringing back George Barrios and Michelle Wilson to the company again, but in kind of different roles. What I understand is instead of being like the co presidents, they're just going to be on the board of directors, and which by Vince and these two coming back three of the board of direct members had to be removed and no surprise really that one of them that were removed was one of them that led the investigation into Vince McMahon so honestly no real surprise there and I talked about the show Post Wrestling did. You can still go back and listen to that. And speaking of Post Wrestling, last night there was a new episode of Nomics Radio with Brandon Thurston and his co-host. I don't remember his name right now. Sorry about that, but go check out Nomics Radio. They talk about it better than I can, but also the newest episode of 83 Weeks with Eric Bischoff, and I'm sure that dog barking in the background there is giving his thoughts on the Vince McMahon situation, and Eric and Conrad discuss the business side of things. Uh, also about this and uh, going back to WrestleNomics radio from last night they they discussed some of the potential bidders if there is a sale of the company I mentioned some of them the other day Comcast which would make sense the parent company of NBC Universal of course which owns USA and also in Denver, the they own UFC and Disney. I don't know how likely that is. And also, Amazon is being discussed. I know uh, Brandon Thurston mentioned this that they now air Thursday night football on their Amazon Prime Video service. Even uh, a few weeks back or so, on WrestleNomics, they discussed a possibility if SmackDown goes up, goes off Fox when the TV rights are up, if Amazon Prime could be an option for SmackDown. And now there's talks of possibly... Amazon purchasing the entire WWE and also Netflix if that could happen I guess maybe they could still uh, work deals out with NBC Universal Fox or whatever broadcaster they want to to air Raw and Smackdown and um, the 
premium live events on Peacock, I guess. And one that's pretty surprising, which I think it's unlikely. I don't see it happening, but Warner Brothers Discovery, which is now the parent company of CBS and TNT, which air AEW. And if that did happen, though, I don't know what that would mean for the future of WWE or AEW on their networks if they actually buy WWE. Who knows? But I don't really see that one happening, though. And even... uh, Tony Khan on WrestleNomics, they mentioned that, but I definitely don't see that happening. Tony Khan, he's busy enough running AEW. He's got Ring of Honor. Of course, he helps out with the Jacksonville Jaguars. I heard that they just made the playoffs and they're football team I can't think of what city it's in but somewhere in England but I think it is anyway and he's running those companies and the only thing about that I think people are talking about it is because how funny it would be WWF bought out WCW they bought their competition and then AEW actually buying out WWE or how funny that would be is what I think most people are talking about. But and uh, one of the final ones that I have seen mentioned is Saudi Arabia or whatever their government company is. I don't know too much about that but it's whoever is that takes care of the deals with WWE to run events like Crown Jewel and the greatest Royal Rumble over there. That's been discussed. And if that actually did happen, of course, I'm sure that would mean maybe even more shows over there in Saudi Arabia. And I don't know if I see that happening either, but who knows? In pro wrestling, never say never, like it's always said. But let me know at the email, 360wrestlingpodcast at gmail.com or the comments here on Spreaker or wherever you're listening to. If there actually is a WWE sale, who do you who would you like to see purchase the promotion? Would it be NBC or Comcast, NBC Universal, or an Amazon or even a Disney or in Denver or Netflix whoever else is in the bid for it let me know 360 wrestling podcasts at gmail.com or in any of the comment sections that's one thing though that I never thought would happen is Vince McMahon not being a part of WWE Uh, uh, when he stepped down last year that's something I never thought would happen and I honestly never before never thought that he would actually be interested in selling the company that he would die still running it maybe even in the gorilla position at one of the shows 
Also, one more thing that was discussed on Russell Namick's radio is with UFC, the deal that Dana White worked out when it was sold is that he did sell it, but they kept him on to run it. So Vince could definitely work something out like that if he does sell it where he wouldn't be the main owner but he could still run the company. Also there's been a little talk about maybe Vince McMahon taking the company private once again so then it would just be him he wouldn't have to answer to any shareholders or anything but I think Brandon Gerson said that's kind of a long shot there but who knows it's time to wrap this episode of 360 Wrestling Podcast up thank you for tuning in today the one week anniversary hopefully many more weeks months years to come of GMWF and tonight we got Monday Night Raw and the rest of the week is pretty big too got AEW Dynamite the finals of the trios tournament the elite versus the death triangle and Friday night we have AE or excuse me Impact Wrestling Hard to Kill pay-per-view as always, stay tuned for episodes of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Hope to have episodes of talking about all the the shows and going into on in the news of the world of pro wrestling. So, until then, though, have a great day, everyone, and keep watching pro wrestling.